Navigating a school system can be challenging for any parent with a child who has special needs. But for military families, that stress is compounded by their lifestyle of repeated moves and attending different schools that offer varying levels of services. In her second report focusing on military kids, special correspondent Kavitha Cardoza with our partner Education Week reports from Virginia Beach, Virginia, where a third of children in need of special education services can fall through the cracks. It's part of our education series, Making the Grade. Good to see you soon. See you. All right, have a good day. After years of military moves, Navy Captain Cassidy Norman was posted to Virginia Beach. Bye-bye. The Normans had lived here before and their daughter loved her former school. 14-year-old Marissa has several disabilities, including cerebral palsy, severe anxiety, poor eyesight, and hearing. So her disabilities are all compounded in the classroom. It's difficult to, for her to listen and learn and write all at the same time. Marissa needs one-on-one -on -one help and therapies, but she has normal intelligence, which means with patience and educational accommodations, she can learn just like any of her classmates. Virginia Beach is surrounded by bases, and the economy is closely tied to the military. Its schools have several programs to support military kids. But several service members say the district is not meeting the needs of their children with disabilities. Eileen Huck with the National Military Family Association says obtaining special education services is a significant challenge for service members nationwide. So often I hear from families who had things set at their previous location and then they had to move and then they feel as though they're, they're starting from scratch. The military does consider a child's medical and educational needs during assignments. But there is less attention paid to the special education services because federal law says that all school districts are required to provide a free and appropriate public education. All children with special needs in every public school district are entitled to an evaluation and individualized plan detailing the supports they'll receive. But when Marissa returned to Virginia Beach District, her parents noticed right away something was wrong. We weren't getting progress reports. They kept taking away services and goals from her and from her education plan. It was very frustrating. And at the same time, they would give her um, honor roll and student of the month every once in a while. But all of this time, she was stagnating and in some areas regressing. Cassidy had to leave for training and was then deployed to the Middle East. Still, he would call into meetings about Marissa, which he said school officials often postponed or cancelled. More than a year passed and nothing significant changed. The Normans moved Marissa to a private school. They also hired a lawyer. And I was so depressed. I wasn't myself. And I was crying all the time. I had to go see a therapist. And Cass was so worried about me. He had to send a base chaplain to come, come to speak to me. During this case, I was responsible for the health and welfare of 3,000 sailors plus 2,000 additional deployers on our ship. And even though that was stressful, it was more stressful for me to think about my daughter, who was not being taken care of by the public school here. Aaron Spence is superintendent of Virginia Beach City Public Schools. Well, I want to be clear, we actually do a great job with our special education program at Virginia Beach. And on rare occasion, we have some disagreements and differences with our families. Um, fortunately, we have a great system for, for working through that. Some military families here disagree. Bryn Bennett, Adriana Rodriguez, and Sydney Jilson all have children with special needs. A few weeks after my husband left for deployment, my son was having some sort of breakdown in the classroom. They couldn't get him to calm down. And I got there and they had like, chairs kind of lined up. It was almost like he was a caged animal. To watch the people that I know are supposed to be on his side, the one that are supposed to be helping him, and to see them pushing his buttons and upsetting him to such lengths was upsetting. They didn't listen to a word we had to say. They didn't listen to a word his doctors had to say. They didn't offer any support. 
The district would not comment on any of the cases, saying it would be inappropriate because we remain in litigation and due process with many of these families. But in a written statement, a spokesperson said the school district is committed to providing the best learning environment possible for all children. We have nationally recognized partnerships with our local installations and are acknowledged as a premier provider of services in the military community. But in one complaint which included military families, investigators found Virginia Beach schools were offering only the bare minimum in services, which translated into a deficit education. Advocate Eileen Huck says there are school districts that just wait it out. It's unfortunate, but I think it's sometimes true that school districts will be hesitant to provide a, a new service or a new resource to a family that they know is, is going to be moving out of the district in a year or two. We are not activists. We are not looking for a fight. We're looking for a good community. It's rare for a family to file a formal complaint and even more rare for them to win. But a Virginia Department of Education investigation found the school district had not provided the minimum education required by law for Marissa. Help it, help it. The school district appealed, the Normans won again in federal court, and Virginia Beach was ordered to pay for her private school. Marissa had to repeat a grade in her new school, but now she's doing well. She plays on the volleyball team. She's making friends. She's learning. Providing special education services can be expensive for school districts, but as the Normans say, it's federal law. They say Virginia Beach schools have already spent more than $300,000 just on their case. The Normans say they hear from many other military families. And very few, if any, are able to afford a lawyer. It's been depressing to see all the families that cannot fight the fight that we are fighting and all the families that have given up or that are afraid of retribution and will not speak out. Virginia Beach School District recently stopped paying for Marissa's private school and is appealing the verdict, which means another long court case that Michelle will have to deal with on her own. Because Cassidy Norman has just received transfer orders for a 15-month posting on a ship based in Italy. For the PBS NewsHour and Education Week, I'm Kavita Cardoza in Virginia Beach, Virginia.